Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Space Engineers, this is episode 1, and this is going to be our multiplayer slash single player series. I say both because it's going to be a multiplayer, quite a bit of it will be sort of single player for a bit. I have a few friends that are actually going to be playing, but they're kind of on holidays, so they'll be in and out, uh, and we probably will miss them most of the times I'm playing right now, because they'll be playing in the middle of the night, but that is fine. Um, we are going to be playing version 1.076. All the information about the mods, the server information, all that are posted in the link in the description. And uh, let's get started. So I just have a link here, a link shortcut to get in game. There you go. Uh, so if you guys are wondering, like if you saw an episode the last day or so, uh, it's gone. Uh, I decided to start it over again uh, with multiplayer. I said I probably would be doing multiplayer because of the bugs and issues we had, but uh, I did some work and changes. So we only have one respawn ship. I made a quick mod to disable all the rest. Um, I actually created a mod and I was such an idiot. Like I spent time literally creating a mod for uh, adding a new oxygen generators and stuff in here and then I realized there's actually one attached to the back of this respawn ship and I was like oh crap I didn't see this till like after I spent a while testing it, exporting it, uh, putting it on the workshop all that and I was like facepalm hardcore uh, and I only noticed it after I started doing my let's play series so it's like eh okay whatever so uh, here we are um, Unfortunately, the oxygen system isn't hooked up to here, so you can't recharge it from here. Uh, but we do have tanks, of course, as you saw, so we can bring a tank around with us if we need to. Um, I say the first uh, thing of business is probably to uh, go ahead and bring the generator, grav uh, gravity generator, a little lower in power here. Um, probably to like 50. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to be that high to begin with. Uh, field width, height, probably change it down a bit, I'm not even sure, uh, depth, I will keep it, field width, I'm not sure where it's a good spot, either way we brought it down a bit, um, where's our reactor, so that's using 30, where's our reactor, where's our reactor, it's probably a small reactor, there we go. Yeah, so we're, well, that'll be good. Uh, two days worth of energy just sitting there. Um, so we're going to go to an asteroid, and I guess we want to go to the closest asteroid. I guess the way to do this is zoom in and out for perspective, kind of. I don't know if you know what I mean, but if we go in and out like this, you kind of see like where things are, how close they are. So that one we were looking at originally, which I'll probably never find again, uh, look quite close. In comparison, oh, okay, you guys can get seasick here. I lost it, so that was a bad idea. Here I had a cool idea, and now I've kind of screwed it up. Oh, here it is. I think this is the one that we felt that was kind of close by. So we're going to fly here. Our first uh, order of business is probably uranium. Ice is also important, but they finally released the hotfix today. Uh, well, when we're recording this, this is a Friday which kind of fixes the um, whole issue where the ice was just dissipating like instantly. <laughs> like you would go through ice like crazy. It was a bit unbalanced unfortunately. Uh, but they balanced it out so it lasts a little longer. They might even do more balancing. It might be a little too balanced. I don't know. We'll have to see over time. But uh, either way, uh, we were chewing through it like, you know, it was pretty crazy. Uh, so um, I'm happy about that. So we probably don't have to worry about ice as much. We start with 2k, which isn't too bad either, so. So, uh, yeah, we'll drift here, and our first priority will be uranium. Uh, second priority, a bit of ice is fine too. Just slowly drift our way over here. I like how they've kept this ship though from day one kind of thing. It's like it just gets junkier and uglier looking in a sense, but they keep adding to it. Actually it doesn't look that ugly. I mean it's ugly for, you know, the kind of ship it is and whatnot, but amazingly it's not that bad. That was the autosave by the way, don't be frightened by that. Uh let me go ahead and adjust that a bit more so it's not coming up as much. So 
We're going to go in the middle there, hopefully. There'll be some kind of uranium. If not, well, we'll just keep scouting and scouting until we find some. Um, there is some NPCs over there. Not something we could probably solo right now. So eventually we'll go and try to capture ships and stuff like that for fun. So that'll be cool. So the idea is here. Uh, we could even save it here, to be honest. Or like the ship leave it here. Uh, we want to find the uranium. It might be just easier with us going around too to save the fuel um, if we feel like that'll become a problem. I think we have a decent amount. Oh, is that ice? Uh, we got to clear our hotbar and start marking things GPS-wise. Uh, I haven't played for a while, but I played a wee bit, so like I'm starting to learn some of the new features. But uh, what is this? Is this ice? It looks oh, it's silicone. Actually, this is a good thing too. Um, Honestly, for here, might as well. Uh, it would be stupid to put this to waste, so. We need a bit of everything, including the uranium. But I think we have enough energy to last us quite a while, so it shouldn't be too bad. Don't forget to hold down T when mining. Uh, we have it set to only 16 uh, debris, you know, things at a time anyway, so it's a little more important. We can hit L to turn on a light. Perfect. There you go. Um... Yeah, we might as well try to get like a full inventory of everything here. I think the uh, most of the settings are 3x, but the inventory is 5x, I believe, in size. Just we don't play like realistic. Some people enjoy complete realistic, but I feel like that just to me that's boring. That's like a snooze fest. Some people enjoy that, um, but I think we agreed to about 3x for most things. I wouldn't snuck the 5x for inventory size. Uh, which I don't think anyone will care. I think Grace will be happy. Toga will be like, yeah, whatever. He'll call me like a, a bitch or a cheater for fun. But um, let's see here. 2K. So that's our volume. That makes sense because if I already called back in the day, it was 4K, wasn't it? Around there. Uh, so we should probably save that, right? Um, where was that again? So yeah, we should probably be smart and bookmark this kind of. So, silicon. Did I call it silicone? I like calling it silicone. Um, GPS, and then we do new from current position, and then we do silicon, and there we go. And there's probably more on here, but we'll see what else. I mean, iron I don't put on the list because iron is, well, ridiculous amount over time. Uh, when we go ahead and deposit this, We'll be a little smart and turn off the refinery for now, so... Just because I don't feel like we have the power for the refinery yet. And, uh, the refinery, okay, so that's... We don't have to worry about anything else. And then we'll just go and deposit this. There we go, a nice chunk of silicon. Uh, let's see what else we have, shall we? Just take another little tour here. Keep an eye on your oxygen and energy. Uh, oxygen shouldn't be as so bad as it used to, so... That's a good thing. Um, your oxygen would be probably like way below 50% by now, if not lower. It was kind of crazy, so. They definitely did a good job of balancing that up pretty quickly. It's just like normal iron, I guess. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you feel like, oh, okay, there's something interesting, but it really isn't. It's just the same stuff. Well, the silicon will help us out. I mean, that'll be good. I like to find something else. And there might be more. We just have to look elsewhere, like in this area. Uh, we saw a little. Uh, wasn't there a bit of a shape to this thing? Ah, is this it on this side or no? Oh, yeah, here it is. I feel like there could be something over here. It could be something on the outside too, but let's check this here. Could be some sneaky uranium just hiding right here. Oh! Here it is. We found it. Says there's some right here. I'm right clicking by the way if you're wondering how I'm like demolishing it so fast. So yeah, here is the uranium. So once again, we're going to do the GPS and uranium. And uh, of course, we're going to go new from current position, uranium. There you go. Um, that should do that. Perfect. And oh yeah, maybe we should hold down T here. And this is perfect because this is exactly what we needed. Wow, did we fill it up that fast or... 
Oh, we didn't drop the silicon, or I probably dropped a tiny bit of it. Damn it. Who's a noob now? Um, I probably didn't double click it. I probably shift clicked it or something because so, I'm used to that in other games. Like, please, uh, well, you know, I've played a lot of Minecraft in the past and I've played other games like uh, Factorio. I think shift click does like everything or you know, one stack or every stack. I don't know. Either way, um, I'm broken. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so let's open this up. And uh, there we go. Small cargo. And there's a refinery. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could put the refinery on now. Oh, I like how that silicon just ninjas itself in there. It's like, thanks, buddy. I'll, I'll get a, a ride in there. So hopefully this is roughly the side. Uh, uh, no, yeah, maybe. I feel like we've kind of gotten lost <laughs> oh yeah oh wait the uranium we, we've put a freaking GPS locator on it and yet I can't find it derp okay so here is our uranium I feel like I'm not playing catch as well as I would hope. It gets dark in here. We have our light on, but uranium will start textured, so kind of ends up being pretty dark for us to see. And this stuff takes a while to mine a good amount, too. I think it's a little slower. I can't wait to get my first mining ship. See, I think with the way we have it disappearing a little early, we got to be careful not to mine too much just because we're wasting it. Though then again, it's not a big deal. Procedural generated universe. It doesn't matter. It used to be more like, oh, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna, don't wanna put any to waste, you know. But I guess it's not like a huge deal. See? Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can find our exit now. There it is. I think, anyways. Inventory. Nice. And it's all uranium. Oh, and I have an oxygen tank on me. I was wondering if I brought one with me. Okay, so let's get back in the ship here. Oops, that was bad. I just smacked into the side of the asteroid a little too fast there, and that is the end of days if that happens. I gotta go to the medical center now and uh, heal up. Of course, that's if we could find it. This looks like it might be the entrance. Nice. Perfect, okay, so, um, yeah, we'll go inside. There's a hopper, I didn't even realize. There's a connector on the bottom, too. They give you a little bit of everything on here. Spoiled, aren't we? Um, okay, so yeah, we'll go to the cargo container, and uh, we'll put this in there. Beautiful. And, oh, wait, we can't pull that out of there. We can pull this out of there. What? I thought that it wasn't hooked up, but I guess it is. Oh, crap. What happens when you pull out your, uh... Help low. Yeah, thank you. What happens when you pull out your uranium out of your reactor, guys? <laughs> oh, good, they have an access slot still. 
I was like, I don't think that's connected by connectors, uh, but it is. And once you do that, your conveyor system or not conveyor, um, different game, your uh, little thing doesn't work at that point. But that's cool because it's linked, so it'll automatically deposit your uranium into the reactor, so you don't have to worry about running out over time. So that's a bit handy. Um, let's go ahead and get down here a bit, down and dirty, shall we? Did I hit it? I might have scraped the bottom a little too much there. I didn't think I did, but... Oh, apparently I must have. Probably takes a good beating anyway. It's probably fine. You got this bumper here. Maybe that was why they added that there as a protection for that. Oh, yeah. We never did uh, fix our health issue. Yeah, so when your oxygen gets down to 30%, it will you start using from the tube. So yeah, when you get damaged, you got to, as far as I know, the only way to heal up is to use the med center. Unless if you have, like, passive healing or whatever, if you haven't taken damage for a while on or something, but we have that disabled. Hardcore, right? There we go. I wonder how much damage I'd take if I just leap from down here. I thought I just died there. The way the animation worked, it was like, damn it, how did I die? Okay, so, um... This will be, um, not too bad to mine. We just have to... Actually, now I think about it. Hmm. Guys, why didn't I think about this? You guys should have told me this right away. I have an idea. You ready for this? You guys will love me for this, for remembering this. Uh, inventory, control panel, gravity generator, field width, field height. Hopefully this is like down here, I guess. Now, I, I don't know what field depth means, to be honest. I feel like I'm misunderstanding that. Um, I think it would be field height then at this point, but we'll see. Yeah. So, the idea here is we go down here and everything will start to fall towards us, making it easier to uh, loot it. Like that. And then we just go up and, oops, we go up and double click. It'll go in the connector, but the conveyors will send it it's you know the, the proper location and this is sort of how you it's called a what's this called again gravity is this a gravity well is this what we called it either way we used to do this back in the day like forever basically since survival i used to do this all the time actually i think i was one of the first on my server anyways who started to do this and people started to do it quite often it was really interesting this is when we had a lot of people back then um, space engineers clearly over time sadly has lost a lot of uh Good people over time not interested in it. Maybe they're bored. I, I think a lot of it is also because they're waiting for like a lot more. Um, like they want like AI and things like that, not just you know the basic stuff that we have. Uh, and of course, planets would make things fun. Oh man, I can't wait for planets. Like I really hope when you're on a planet, you don't even know there's space around you. Like it feels like you're on an actual planet, like medieval engineers, and they kind of in a sense already said not said well yeah they said that like they shown pictures of a rough idea of what it would look like and it looked like somebody just pasted a space uh you know a ship from space engineers onto a planet but you know that that would be really cool to me i'd love to live on an actual like you know wonderful little planet grassy planet etc um because to me that would be sort of cool like to be on a planet like that and to you know call my home to have my factory and base there instead then i would never like have a space base ever again i would want to do it all you know on the planet but i think one of our goals is to try to have a radar system over time and spread it around the universe uh stones there we go but uh yeah so this is kind of what we do for the first like hour two hours three hours ten hours it doesn't really matter so we just refilled finally from our oxygen bottle, so it should go to 58, yeah. I think it goes to 16% on our second one. So you get, you know, from 30%, you get a couple good fills out of it. 
Um, so they last pretty decently. I, I'd be comfortable just holding with one bottle on me at a time or whatever. Just to keep uh, that extra storage space on me. Gotta be careful. The getting pushed by the asteroids down. Wouldn't want to end up uh, getting mutilated. You know, I keep using the gravity, or... Oh, crap. Ah! That hurt. Well, maybe I didn't take much damage. It was like... Could probably go like this and just mine without uh, the jetpack on. We'll save energy, by the way. But I thought it would just be cool to watch it kind of roll down. We roll in. Oh! Honestly, you would need probably a ridiculous amount of iron over time. That's why I'm kind of going crazy with my iron. Just might as well just throw it all in there and get as much as I can over time with it. We're going to find iron everywhere, though, so it won't matter too much. Ow! We got a little bit here. I want to go down here. There we go. Bump, bump. It's like playing bumper cars, in a sense, trying to get down there. We can do it, we can do it! Yes! Okay, oops, a little bit of a lag there. It's probably a spawn ship or something happening. They kind of lag the client too. I think everything's sort of in sync in the sense that like, whatever, you know, happens on the server, the client does it too, kind of. Uh, something silly like that, I find. So, um, we go in our ship now. And we'll check our status of everything. Uh, so our refinery is going good, doing the uranium, which I want first anyways. Got lots of iron. You can do the iron probably next if you want. It'll probably have... we have enough fuel anyways. Uh, so, I feel like we've done our job in this area. And then I like to just move and probably explore a bit more, get other places. Fuel time, one hour. Don't forget the refinery is running like overload right now. Um, so I guess then what I like to do is just keep going to asteroid to asteroid. Uh, normally I would find everything I want in one single asteroid, but uh, that is not the case anymore because of uh, how things are, which is, to me, awesome. I like that. I mean, I don't mind uh, visiting asteroid to asteroid. It gives me a reason to go exploring a bit more. Um, I'm going to aim a little lower because if I accidentally thrust into the bottom of that, like into that, I would be saddened. I'm sure you guys would laugh, but... just let ourselves kind of glide over time. Well, at this point, we're just picking up more and more speed, but... And I'll probably leave a bunch of tool tips till I'm found basically one of everything. Um, so we want, want things like cobalt. Um, oh, what's the other red stuff that's like, reminds me of iron, but nickel. Um, and... Uh, Ice, of course, yeah, we want that ice. Um, not a big hurry on that one. I'm not too worried about that because I feel like we'll be safe. Uh, gold, silver, platinum, and uh, I said cobalt. Cobalt. Um, we already found silicon, so that's kind of good. I'm probably missing one or so there, but that, that was the majority of them, and then we'll just find one of each, and I'll do that off camera, honestly. I mean, we'll be doing this forever, just going from asteroid to asteroid. It'll get kind of boring. There we go. There's gold on here, there's uranium on here. So we just found quite a bit of what we wanted to begin with right on this asteroid. Okay, so... Um, let's go out and uh, explore. Where are we? Ah so yeah, let's get the gold. So yeah, there's a big chunk of uranium on there. I'm not going to bother double marking things, because I think at that point we're going to have enough anyways for what we need, but... Uh, I'll just mark the one things at a time. Maybe eventually if we find bigger ones or something, we'll just replace them if we really care that much. Oh, nice bit of gold here. Um, so let's go ahead and K this one. And new from current position. And then we call this one gold. Gold dust. And there we go. 
And no, I'm no wrestling fan or I have no clue about wrestling. Never been into wrestling. Just I know there's a gold dust that I just felt like I needed to blurt that out. Ah. There you go. It's annoying sometimes to mine, uh, when you first start out like this. I like it, but it gets, it's, especially with me, like, with us limiting the normal size amount, uh, you know, we know that, like, you know, more than 16, uh, things, the first one of the 16 gets despawned, uh, to fix one of the worst bugs I've seen in history, uh, with the game right now, which has been around for a couple, uh, Numbers basically when you mine and then leave the area, it starts to cause a lot of lag. Not as much with hand drills, but like actual miners themselves start doing that. So that's one of the reasons why we ended up uh, doing this kind of uh, style is just despawning at 16 to prevent that. Um, I'm sure I've got. Oh no, I actually didn't pick up anything but the gold. I was like, I'm sure I got something else than just gold I can get rid of, but. Oh, look at that. Big C. Consume. <laughs> okay, I lost my ship. Where, where's my ship, guys? Damn it! Is that it? Oh, there it is. Wrong side, probably. Da -da. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at the iron is finally done. Back to uranium. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, I'll probably be smart and start collecting a bit of m everything a bit more. Just why not? Because we'll use it eventually, and it's not too bad, especially if we use the little gravity thing. Oh, that's why our fuel time is a little lower than normal. Our gravity generator is on, don't forget, and that gravity generator is costing us a bit. We can do something like set it here to on and off, I believe. How do you do that? Uh, small reactor. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Nothing will blow back for that. Toggle block on and off. There you go. There we go. So if we stop still here, we have seven hours of fuel. Uh, okay, not much fuel. It didn't really make much of a difference. So yeah, I'll park this on top of the gold, for example, mine a bit more of that. Maybe I'll get more uranium, things like that, and I'll just collect a bit more. We have a decent amount of inventory. You got 78,000, 78, yeah, 78,000 liters there. Assembler holds a decent amount. Refinery holds 20. Okay, so yeah, we got a bit of inventory space, so we should collect a bit more. That way, when we do our Let's Play and build a ship or whatever we're doing, you guys aren't, like, waiting there all day saying, oh, man, like, we're waiting still for him to make one little thing. Um... But uh, either way, I can't wait. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, there will be many more episodes coming in the near future. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.